Carl Edwards held off Kyle Busch in a two-lap shootout to the checkered flag and won Sunday's NASCAR Spring Cup Series three-arm performance 400 at Michigan International Speedway to go along with his win in Saturday's Nationwide Series race. Edwards led five times for 84 laps, including the final 18, and route to his fifth Spring Cup win of the season. It was Edwards' 12th win of his career and second at Michigan in nine cup races at MIS. Edwards has finished outside the top 10 only once. Edwards turned 29 on Friday and became only the second driver to win both races at MIS over a weekend. Former Roush driver Mark Martin turned the trick back in 1993. Yeah, it's, uh, Bob just did a great job. Everyone, the crew did an unbelievable job. And the, uh, the greatest part is that, uh, you know, that we didn't give up more bonus points to Kyle, you know. Um, he's just so strong. And every time we, uh, every time I win and he finishes second, that's really a 20-point spread, you know, for us. So uh, that's what we just have to keep doing is, is go out here and try to win the next three events and, uh, and go into this chase on even ground. But the guys are doing great. You know, Bob made great adjustments, and, and that was the, the key of the race. Bush tried to run down Edwards in the final dash of the checkered flag set up when Denny Hamlin blew his engine, but he didn't have enough to get past the office depot Ford. With the second place finish, Bush became the first driver to clinch a position in the chase for the NASCAR Sprint Cup. Based on his eight victories to this point of the season, he'll begin the chase with the lead in the point standings. You know, didn't have enough for the 99 there at the end. We uh, had a special set of tires for some reason that were just great on that thing and made the car really, really hook up. And then we took those off, and the car wasn't as good uh, to the end of the race. And, you know, we weren't able to get through the corners as fast as Carl was. You know, he really had something for us that uh, was able to get through the center of the corner and then, you know, still get good bite up off where we kind of struggled all day. Edwards' Roush Fenway Racing teammate David Reagan finished third for his career best finish and his second top ten run in four races at Michigan. Reagan now sits just 26 points out of making the top 12 in the field for the chase. We just had good speed all day, good track position, and um, came up a little close uh, or, or came up a little short. Carl certainly had the uh, the best car. I think the 18 uh, was pretty stout at times, depending on who was out front. But, you know, it was good to be able to race with them, and I uh, felt like if we had to do it all over again, we might would take uh, two tires that last stop, make a small adjustment, and see what, uh, see what we could have done. But nevertheless, uh, a strong day for us, and we can, um, we can build on that. The remainder of the Roush Fenway cars all finished in the top 10 with Greg Biffle 4th, Matt Kenseth 5th, and Jamie McMurray in 10th. It was a tough day for a trio of drivers who saw their chase hopes take a hit, including Jeff Gordon, who cut a tire after making contact with Tony Stewart and then hit the wall. Casey Kane suffered a blown engine and finished 40th, falling to 11th in the standings. And Hamlin had an engine expire just laps from the finish of Sunday's race. He finished 39th and dropped to 12th and the final chase transfer spot. Bush now leads the point standings by 222 over Edwards as the series now heads to Bristol Motor Speedway for next Saturday night's Sharpie 500. Reporting from the Michigan International Speedway for Racing One Cast, this is Pete Pistoni reporting.